good morning so in the next part of our video that is insulin and glucagon uh, we'll see about the what are the different insulin preparations are there now this insulin it is one of the important used as a drug in case of the type 1 diabetes mellitus in case of the type 1 diabetes uh, diabetes mellitus there is the absolute deficiency of the insulin clear absolute deficiency because all the beta cell is destroyed so oral hypoglycemic agents are not going to work in that case so insulin can it is the only choice of course in case of the type 2 diabetes some cases there is also uh, insulin preparations can be given now there is a different types of the insulin preparations are there first one is the rapid acting insulin the rapid acting insulin now in case of the rapid acting insulin generally uh, what is their uh, onset of action 5 to 15 minutes within 5 to 15 minutes the onset of action is there peak hour 30 to 90 minutes and duration of action 3 to 5 hours let 3 to 5 hours like under this it is uh, you can say that um, insulin lispro insulin aspart and ins insulin gluconeosin now these are the drugs it can be given before the meal just before the meal or 15 minutes before the meal it can be given that it can be given and these are the solution contains the neutral ph containing the crystalline zinc to increase the stability and shelf life this agent increase perpendicular secretion of the insulin but you not, not used alone usually they are preferred along with the long acting insulin for the better effect next one is the short acting insulin now in the case of the short acting insulin if we see about this short acting insulin uh, this short acting insulin if you are considered this is a short acting insulin what will happen this is the clear solution of the neutral pH containing the crystalline zinc to increase the stability and under this regular insulin is there which duration of action is 30 minutes to 1 hour peak action 1 to 3 hours onset of action is 30 to 1 hour and onset peak action is 1 to 3 hours and total duration of action 4 to 8 hours so sustained infusion of insulin may be given to the IV and IM route also though mostly it is given in the SC uh, subcutaneous route. Next is intermediate acting insulin. Plus intermediate acting insulin. Now intermediate acting insulin uh, that is the natural uh, protamine uh, uh, insulin NPH. Clear NPH again onset of action 1 to 2 hours, peak action 4 to 10 and the duration of uh, action is um, 10 to 18 hours. Next is uh, Lente insulin again 3 to 4 hours onset 4 to 12 hours peak action and duration 12 to 18 hours. Le? Next is long acting Le? long acting that is the ultra Lente 6 to 10 hours onset peak action 10 to 16 and duration of action 18 to uh, 24 insulin uh, <coughs> blood green these are the 1 to 2 hours of onset peakless and uh, 18 to 24 hours is the duration. Insulin's uh, dead meat. Now it is uh, 1 to 2 hours onset peak action for 6 to 14 and duration is 16 to 20 hours. Next is there insulin mixtures. Plus there is a different types of the insulin mixture is there. For example uh, 70 by 30. Uh, human mix 70 by 25 lispo uh, analog mix 70 by 30 aspartate analog mix and 50 by 50 human mix so these are the different preparations are there now what are the problems with the uh, insulin injection what is the side effect of the insulin injection they may call the uh, hypoglycemia this is one of the major problem with the insulin then major problem with the insulin they may suddenly decrease the uh, blood sugar level other than weight gain, allergic reaction, infection, injection site, absence, uh, uh, lipoatropy, insulin edema, lipohypertrophy and insulin resistance are some of the common problems which are associated with the 
insulin preparation so these are the some of the reference thank you